Hey, Paul, congrats on the win. Thank you, thank you. Um, you guys basically played drop coverage quite a bit tonight and baited Cleveland into those mid-range floaters, and they ended up hitting them at a pretty high level, at least early on in the game. Uh, does it get a little bit frustrating at times when that happens, but you guys still have the patience to stick with the system and not go away from it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's more so about uh, the overall, um, you know, flow of the game. Um, I mean, they shot 10 threes, so... Um, we, we limit them from playing on the perimeter and uh, channeled everything. They make those shots. Um, good for them. Uh, we, on the other hand, got 34 three-point attempts, uh, made 20 of those. Um, and so basically giving up twos for threes. Thanks. We'll go next to Shane Young. Hey, PG. Um, congrats on the win. It seems like Serge Ibaka is doing a really good job on those uh, pick and pops. Yeah, you know, I think he's like seventy percent from the elbows this year on, on those mid rangers. Is that something that uh, you, you know you guys, especially the the ball handlers like you and Kawhi, are trying to get him to shoot more of this year? And have y'all talked about that with him? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think that was uh, one of the reasons uh, we acquired him, and one one of the reasons it was mutual interest. Um, you know, because we are, you know, guards and wings that can put pressure on the defense, um, especially in pick and rolls and uh, manipulate those, have him pop and uh, really stretch the floor out for us. Um, so, you know, it's, it's uh, <clears throat> you know, it's it's all just reading the game. Um, I, th I think we do a great job with having him roll sometimes, uh, depending on the coverage or having pop. Thank you. We have time for just two more. We'll go Ohm and then Miriam. Uh, PG, two quick questions. The first one was uh, you weren't able to start this trip with Kawhi, but you finished it strong. I was wondering what did uh, what did you take big, the biggest point out of this road trip for you guys? Um, you know what? It's it's a uh, it was just a great overall uh, team road trip. Um, great camaraderie. Um, I thought we built a lot of uh, just team chemistry, um, and you know we we played some pretty good teams on this trip. Um, you know, each team's been playing well, whether they're a young team or a um, team that's been together um, or a really talented team. I thought we really just played well over the whole trip um, out of six games. And um, to go four and two, um, we'll take that. You know, obviously, uh, you know, things could have been different. We played a little better in Brooklyn. Had we been full strength in Atlanta, we could have, you know, had an even better trip. But um, I thought we battled. Um, we played hard. Uh, we competed, and um, there was just a lot of consistency within this group. And the second thing, I'm not sure if you saw today, but you've said this earlier in your season, you're not sure why guys continue to talk about you, but Jared Dudley wrote a book, and there was an excerpt in there that said that the Lakers were highly motivated by comments you made like two media days ago about how you and Kawhi were going to be a tough duo to beat. And he said the Lakers found it disrespectful. I was wondering what your reaction is when you hear that. Um, who book was it? Jared Dudley, he basically said that like uh, the Lakers were motivated by this comment that you made on media day, uh, but just about how you and Kawhi were going to be a tough duo to beat. God bless him. Uh, God bless you, Jared Dudley. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, dudes love throwing my name and stuff, but uh, God bless you, Jared. Next question. Miriam, go ahead. So you're not going to read the book, I take it? I'm just kidding. That's not my question. Um, <laughs> no, you obviously, you've had so many games this year when you've just been on fire from the field. Like, at, at, do you feel that, like, coming into a game or, like, when, you know, early in the game, like, I got it today? And, and, and then do you see it sort of being contagious and the other guys kind of feeding off of it? Um, it's more so I take a lot out of it the game before. Um, the game in Brooklyn, I thought um, – I had some really good looks. I had some moments where I could have took care of the ball, got the shots I wanted, took my time. Um, so coming into tonight, it helped prepare me. Um, you know, I just told myself if I get those same looks, those same open looks, those same opportunities, um, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock those shots down. Um, so, you know, last night's game definitely helped prepare me to get me into a, a good groove, knowing, um, you know, if I just take my time and focus in on my shots and look for my shots, um, you know, I, I'll have a pretty good night. Thank you. 
Thank you, guys. Thanks, PG.